Hey everybody, I, uh, this will be section three of my paint tech for you guys. <coughs> this will be on tape and candy mixing and how to spray. First I want to discuss on tape and the different values and layouts and stuff like that. Um, first I want to say I see you get a lot of you guys posting that you use frog tape. Um, I wouldn't suggest using that. Um, that's got silicone in it and silicone will cause your paints and candies and all that to have a reaction and to uh, bubble up and destroy your paint jobs. Um, this is crepe tape. It's a little on expensive tape size. It's like 10 to 12 bucks depending where you get it. So I'd use it a little on the sparing type side. This is Tamiya. Um, there's a guy on eBay that helps selling it for, I think it's 13 bucks for five rolls and it comes in a couple different sizes. Um, but I use it a lot. Um, blue painter's tape. I use it a lot, but this is the green. Um, it's a little less tacky. Um, but we'll get into that here in a second. Um, these fine line for low rider tape outs, you can take, this always happens when I do a video. Um, you can take uh, two X-Acto blades, Where'd they go now? I just had them sitting here. Um, and tape them together. Um, and depending on your space of your, uh, your, uh, how you want it to look, you can put a piece of tape in between the blades. Um, depending on how you want it to look. Uh, this is two blades taped together. And you can do, I mean, some serious tape outs on them. And they'll, you can stretch it out just a little bit to get them to curve. And it takes a little practice. I don't have this body uh, sanded out yet. So I couldn't get it to do much. But once you get uh, your, your paint on it and a little bit of clear on it, you can do complete circles on it. Um... But that's the extent I want to, oh, yeah, well that's the extent on how I want to explain on tapes. Um, as far as candy, when you get candy concentrates, it comes like this. And you, you'll have to mix it. And when you mix it, you'll have to do your inner coat clear. Um, and I buy it straight out of the court, um, and you'll have to mix it. You put your, it's 50-50 on the, when you have to mix it. So you put your inner coat clear here, and I do my thinner up to here. And when you mix your, your concentrates, it's usually 20%, so it's up to there. But you can adjust it, um... Like on the, the the 65, I did a little stronger. So I did it 25, almost 30% co concentrate. But on the Caprice, I only did maybe 5%. So there's not much candy on it. I hope that makes a little bit of sense. But usually rule of thumb is 20%. But you can make it weaker or stronger. I mean, always do your test on it. Um, with that said, you can make it weak and then make it stronger with, with that said. Um, do tape fades. When you make it weak, 
um, you can do your tape out and have it overlapping. And with that said, when you start doing your your overlapping, it'll be dark up back here and light on here. So when you start pulling your layers, when you spray it, you pull a layer. It's hard to do on one hand. You spray a layer. Spray another layer. Spray a layer. And keep going and going. And it'll be dark back here and light back here. And it'll slowly get darker and darker and darker. I mean lighter. But slowly dark, get darker back here. And that's what they call a tape fade. And you can also, with candies, take a business card and hold it up on your edge. Not on it, but lift it up. And it'll be a nice, subtle edge. So it'll be hard on the one end, but soft on the other edge. And that's how I did the 65. I held it up so it was nice and hard on one edge and soft on the other edge. It takes a little practice and you got to take the your your airbrush. And I know some of these new compressors, you, you, it's hard to do because the compressors get real hot. Um, <coughs> uh, they keep wanting to shut off on you. You almost need a... A regular compressor to do it but it, you got to shoot it low pressure like 5 to 10 psi to do it and it, it it's a it's a great effect to do and that's an, an old school lowrider trick to do um, <coughs> and you can also when you do uh, the business card you can do swirls and what they call a fan and this slowly I wish I had to cut cut it but slowly what they call a fan and slowly do one of these patterns and they call it a fan so I know this is a lot of inf information to do in a couple minutes um, but if you have any questions don't hesitate to ask. I mean, you know, this is the Mandarin. I made it real strong. And I made a bunch of it for a guy. And he ended up backing out on it. So I have a lot of extra. So I'll probably do another build in Mandarin that's strong. So I know you guys had a little question, a bunch of questions on candies and how to mix them and and uh how how to actually how to do it but that's basically the know-how on how to mix candies and and concentrates and some tape know-how but like i said this stuff's kind of expensive and you can cut your own um the only time i do it is if i have uh um like on the Capri site, had a little extra, so I went with it, and I used the tomato to fill it in on, on the the uh, the bigger stuff. But I had a little bit of extra, so I used it. I didn't have much to do on my uh, full size, and there wasn't much to. I had to buy a big roll, and I only had maybe a foot, so I wasn't gonna throw it away. So I used it on the Capris. Um, I hope that helps you guys a little bit and understand on how to mix it and and uh, oh that's one thing I wanted to show you guys um, that's the thinner I use it's economy thinner and I get it from um, my actual paint store for auto body and it's 14 15 bucks a gallon uh, I buy it by the gallon I mean, it cleans out my airbrush. Uh, I use a lot of it. 
it's when you buy at uh, AutoZone for the the court. This it's nine bucks, so and it don't last very long. So I buy a gallon of it and to make it last a little longer. Oh, that's one thing I wanted to tell you before I was done. And when you're doing candies, if you're doing a whole body, um, I use uh, my point three with the candies, and I'm probably mm, eight inches away to doing a whole body. That way I don't get tiger stripes. Um, and when I'm doing the candies, I jacked up my pressure, probably 35 PSI um, under bright lights. Um, when you do that, that way you can kind of judge and that way you don't get tiger stripes. And when you're that far away, I thin it out a little more. It seems to flow a little better. When you do that, it it helps avoid the tiger stripe on the candies. With the uh, candies, it's real easy to get tiger stripes, and when you do that, it's um, how do I want to say it? it? It's real easy to get tiger stripes, and tiger stripes is are the thin spots. I hope that's uh, I explained it real good enough for you guys. If you have any questions, let me know. And I'll try to explain them to you guys. Um, next one we'll do, uh, I'll try to explain pearls to you guys. Um, have a good day. Bye.